welcome back to the channel. As always, thanks for being here. Thanks for clicking on the video, subscribing, liking the videos, all those things. I always appreciate it. Um, so today we're going to jump right into this. Uh, in a couple of my past live videos, and we do live fishing reports every Sunday night at 7 p.m. right here on this channel. On a couple of those, we've talked about the uh, Fishhawk Electronics, their products, and what they can do for you out there um, on the Great Lakes and really anywhere, anywhere fishing is possible. Um, so recently, for my new charter boat, I have purchased a new Fishhawk X4D. It arrived yesterday, so what we're going to do today is unbox this thing, go over it, talk about what it can do for you, how it can change the game for you. Um, I swear by these things. Um, I, I tell this story all the time. I was doing a seminar um, downstate last, uh, this last January I was doing the seminar and somebody asked me if you could only have one piece of equipment electronic wise on your boat what would you have and it didn't take me a nanosecond to answer back the fish hawk. I would do away with uh, the radios, the, uh, the fish finders, the graphs, the GPS's. I would do away with all those as long as I could keep that fish hawk because I believe that thing puts more fish in the boat than anything else. So another thing I want to throw out here real quick, um, talking with uh, the guys over at Fishhawk, let me say this first off, super, super great people over there at Fishhawk. Um, their website is fishhawkelectronics.com, I'll put a link down below, but talking with them I remembered how nice they are, how professional they are, and uh, looking at their, they're trying to grow their, grow their YouTube um, following as well, and they got a pretty nice channel. Not a lot of people, I think, have found it because they don't have a ton of subscribers. But recently on their YouTube channel, they have been going um, and speaking. And I think this was primarily over at the Niagara Show uh, because it looks like most of the people they talked to were Lake Ontario fishermen. But they've been talking to charter captains and tournament guys um, and gals and uh, get, getting them on, the, I think they call it their Great, Great Lakes Podcast. And they have, it, have that available on their YouTube channel. So I'm going to put a link. I think I can put one right up here. I think it's going to come up on this side. So look for that link, and then I'll put a link to their YouTube channel down below. It's worth checking out. There's some really cool information on there, and uh, I, I think it's, uh, like I said, I think it's worth the time to, uh, to take a click on that. So anyway, let's take a look here, what we got inside the Okay, so like I said, this is the Fishhawk X4D. And what the D stands for, it's going to give you accurate depth um, at the probe as well. We're going to get into that a little bit more here. This might be a little confusing for some people. But anyway, this is the box. I have not even opened it yet. In fact, I'll probably even have a hard time getting it open. I always seem to on these things. But yeah, we're going to go over what's in the box. But also, when I get this thing on the boat, hooked up and ready to go, I'll do another video then showing you what it looks like on the boat where everything mounts or where I like to mount things and, and go through some other features here that we probably won't be able to cover today. Anyway, let's jump into this. Let's open this thing up. Looks like, uh, oh yeah, I always have a hard time with these things. I'm sure it probably just takes two seconds for somebody with half a brain to open these. But that's not going to be me. That's how I'm going to open it, right there. Anyway. Grab the stuff out of here. Make sure we're not going to drop anything. Good. A few more things inside. All right, that's it. All right, let's see what we got here. So again, FishhawkElectronics.com is the website. Okay, packaged very nicely, nice bubble wrap, and the box came with some nice bubble wrap as well, so they take care of their stuff, no doubt about it. All right, so there's the probe, there is the display unit, instructions, oh, a nice, nice decal here for the boat, or the truck, or my wife's car if I can sneak it on there, or anything like that. All right. Maybe my buddy's boat if I can sneak it on there. Anyway, let's look. So, I mean, obviously, you're looking here, you can see it's not it's not a whole lot of moving parts. It's essentially the head unit, uh, which goes up, obviously, in the front of the boat. We, uh, we have this actually mounted on Jim's boat, backed by some of the rod holders, so we can always see this thing. 
I want to point this out right for this right now, the X4D unit, and this is their top of the line unit, and this is the one I recommend, has a Bluetooth feature, which is really nice. So if I'm over on one side of the boat and I want to see what's going on on the Fish Hawk, I can have that app right on my phone. I can bring up the information right there. I don't have to run all the way back up to the front or wherever the, the head unit is mounted. I can pull out my phone. I can see it right there. And I remember that app on that phone also has a feature where you can log your catches, uh, what you caught, uh, where you caught it, and a lot of other things, a lot of you know, um, data that you can punch in that's valuable to have. So that is the head unit. Like I said, that's going to be mounted up wherever really you want to mount it. But typically most people mount this up somewhere near the uh, uh, the captain's area of the boat, you know, where all the, uh, the other electronics are. This is the probe unit. So let's talk about this real quick. This is, uh, this is really the meat and potatoes of the whole thing right here. This thing is going to run off your downriggers. And uh, what's going to happen is your downrigger cable is going to come down. This is the way I like to run this thing. Downrigger cable comes down, connects to the top here of the probe. Then underneath is where you're going to connect that cannonball. And underneath is where I connect those Dreamweaver dead set releases. So downrigger cable down, connect. Off the bottom, I'm going to take this right off here because I know I'm not going to use it. <clears throat> but off the bottom is where I run those Dreamweaver, like I said, uh, dead set releases. So it's a dead set release and then to the cannonball. So my cannonball is probably a good foot to a foot and a half below the probe. But that's where that probe is going to run. And what this probe is going to do is as it's going through the water, it's going to collect a, a ton of data. And this thing is run on four AA batteries. And they last quite a while, I'll say that. Nice, you know, water sealed unit, waterproof unit, four AA batteries, and I'm gonna get, I mean, we almost get a good half season or more out of one set of batteries. So that's a good thing to know. Anyway, this thing's gonna be pulled through the water by the downrigger cable. You're gonna have data coming in off the speed wheel. So that's gonna give you your speed down here at depth. And then inside, and th I am no, <laughs> no way even shape or form qualified to talk about how this does work. But this is also going to gather your accurate depth. It's going to tell you exactly where this probe is running. And it's going to tell you accurate water temperature. So that's huge. Those are huge, um, incredibly important um, points of data that you're going to want to have when you're out salmon fishing. Because you want to target, like we've talked about before, you want to target where that... Um, really where the water is that you feel that those salmon are going to be you know be held up you know we all we've talked about those uh, you know those depth ranges before i look for anything between 45 degrees uh, even all the way down 44 43 sometimes you know up to the low 50s maybe 51 ish 52 ish that's the kind of area i'm targeting and there's other times when we target other other um water temps but for the most part that's what i'm looking for so again you're going to get water temp Hugely important. You're going to get speed, another great important detail, and you're going to get the accurate depth. It's going to tell you exactly where your bait is going to be running, so you know you got it down there. All right, so why is speed important? Now, I've talked about this before, but think about it. I like to troll into the current, and that's just my thing, and I know a lot of other guys do like to do that also. Some people like to go opposite way, but it's always been my opinion in my experience, I catch more fish going into the current. So we're, be, we're going to be able to tell by our speed, if we're trolling this thing and the current's coming at us, our speed down here at the probe is going to be much faster than our speed over ground, you know, up top on the GPS. If it's the opposite, if we got a following current where the current is coming behind us, that is going to be a slower speed down here, faster up at the GPS on top, speed over ground. I hope that makes sense to you. If it doesn't, uh, happy to explain it again in another time but you think about it obviously the water's pushing on this thing it's going to be faster on this thing than the speed up on top all right so anyway that is your probe like i said that is the meat and potatoes of this thing that is the, the part that gives you all the wonderful info this is going to be your cables pop this open real quick Now in the old days with the old fish hawks, you had to have a coated downrigger cable to be able to run that probe and get the, uh, the readings up on the head. That's not the case anymore. This is gonna work just like, almost like a fish finder. 
where you're going to have the transducer mounted on the back of the boat. That's going to be, this probe is going to be sending off the information, and again, I, I, I'm nowhere qualified to talk about this, but it's going to be sending off the information, the transducer is going to pick that information up, and it's going to relay that information to your head unit. So those days of coated downrigger cables are long gone. This is the cat's you know what. It's also nice to point out here, up here at the at the transducer unit or the sending unit or whatever Fish Hawk calls it, there's another speed wheel. So you're going to be able to get speed at speed at the surface versus speed at the probe. So that's going to be able to tell you those differences. This is also going to give you speed at or I'm sorry temperature at the surface, which is another great critical thing to know. So. All those old days, like I said, down here, coated down rigger cables, I can't talk, all of a sudden are gone. We're into a much, much easier um, you know, ways to do things, a much easier state of, state of mind here. So anyway, probe down, transducer on the back of the boat, run the cables up to the head unit. Head unit mount is right here. Power unit or the power to the to the head units right there. I can't obviously get into that right now. There's no way I can do that. I'll do that uh, like I said when we get out on the boat. So there's your power cord, and then they even send you a nice a nice cover for the head for the head unit. <clears throat> Keep some of that water and moisture and rain out of there as well. So a nice nice cover right there. All right. I mean that is the fish hawk, like I said, in a nutshell. Let's let's take a look here real quick. And you'll see what I'm talking. At least I can show you on the box what you're gonna be getting for, for information. Hold on, I don't want to knock any of this stuff off. This stuff is a uh, it's not cheap, I'll tell you that. And we'll talk about that here shortly also. So probe sending the information up to the head unit. Obviously, this is just on the box. I want you to get kind of an idea of what what kind of information you're going to be having here. So displaying the head or the head display here, you're going to be showing you exactly what depth you're at, 101 feet. It's going to be showing you your speed at top or speed at uh, speed at the surface, which is right here. It's going to show you 58.4 speed, or I'm sorry, temperature at the surface, speed at the surface, temperature down at the probe. And then, te or I'm sorry, <laughs> speed down at the probe. Oh, you get a little tongue-tied doing this sometimes. So anyway, you get the idea. It's going to give you depth, temperature, and speed, along with the two, uh, the surface speed and temp as well. So that gives you an idea exactly. I feel like I'm tripping all over myself here, but you guys understand. I'm sure you do. You're very smart. I know that, and I'm sure you understand. That just gives you a little idea on... Uh, how that's going to look once you do have it on the boat. All right, all your mounting equipment or mounting hardware is here. The information is all instruction manual is going to go over a lot of things right here. Preferred water temps are even here. Let's see what they say for Chinook salmon. Uh, lower limit 42, optimum 50. Yeah, I, I like a little colder than that, but that's just me. An upper limit of 60. And yeah, they can't get up in the in the 60 degree water at times. But yeah, 42 to 60 is what they're saying with the optimum at 50. I, I, I agree to that to the most point. I think at different days it's going to be a little different than that, but it does give you a good starting range. And they also have here for brown trout, coho, crappie, cockney, or kokanee, I'm sorry, lake trout, large, I mean just all the fish are here. Gives you an idea on where to go. And it gives you a nice rundown on exactly what everything's going to be doing for you, how to attach things, uh, everything else. Yeah, nice, nice information here. Routine maintenance, troubleshooting, and we rarely, rarely have problems with that fish hawk. Uh, but there's some troubleshooting here and service. All the information is right there for the service. And I'll say this again, their service department is second to none. I, there, there's only a few places out there where I put like A plus service ratings on something. Fishhawk is one for sure. I've dealt with them before. Dreamweaver is another one. Purple Taco is another one. And then a few other ones. Um, and obviously there's some out there I even put D's or D minus or E's on. And I won't talk about those, but we've all dealt with those. Well, anyway, let's, uh, let's talk about price a little bit. Okay, so let's talk about the website, the products that they have available. A little bit on pricing to give you an idea. 
So I want to put this out there first and foremost. I am not pro staff for Fishhawk. I'm not being paid to endorse them in any way. These are my opinions, and these are my opinions based on years on using these things, um, dealing or being on other boats where many, many other charter guys use these things, tournament boats, weekend, weekend warriors, you name it. Um, that's where I, I, I base most of my opinions on, not only my experience, but listening to other people. And I seldomly, seldom have heard anything bad to say uh, about the Fishhawk system. So I just wanted to put that out there. I didn't want anybody sitting there watching this thing to go, oh, listen to this guy. You know, he's being paid to say this, or maybe he got a free unit for saying these things. And that's just not the case. These are my personal opinions, and I think if it's going to benefit you, I'm going to tell you. If it's garbage, I'm going to tell you that, too. Anyway, I wanted you to know that. All right. FishhawkElectronics.com is the website. And it looks like they have their three main systems are the X4D, which is what I showed you just here. And again, that has um, at the surface, it's going to give you speed and temp at the surface. And then down at the cannonball, it's going to give you speed, temp, and accurate depth. Now, is depth important? I think it is. And the reason being is, uh, say you're marking fish consistently on the depth finder, 50 to 55 feet, you want to target that area, or you know where the thermocline is, you want to target that area, or for whatever reason. And there's other variables that happen in the water as well. Downrigger ball blowback is a big one there. Calibration of downriggers is sometimes a factor. Changing from wire on downriggers to braid can have a huge difference on where your, your, uh, your depth reader is reading on your downrigger. So... I would rather know without a shadow of a doubt that my bait is running exactly where I want it to. If it's if the display unit is telling me I'm at 54 feet, I know without a shadow of a doubt I'm at 54 feet. That's a little bit of peace of mind and it also puts more fish in the boat. So depth to me is definitely important. So again, that's what you're going to get with the X4D, including the Bluetooth, which again is a really nice feature to have. I've used it hundreds of times. When it's there and I got it, I'm happy it is. So the X4 system is the next model. I don't want to say down because it's not downgrade. It's really the same system, but it's lacking some of the components that the X4D has. The X4 has everything that I just mentioned on the X4D, but it's lacking the depth at the probe. It's lacking that accurate reading at the depth or for the depth at the probe. So again, in my opinion, I'd much rather have uh, the depth on there versus not having it. Now I'll talk about prices here in just a sec. And then they have the Fishhawk X2 system. In this system I'm not real familiar with, so I'm going to click on it see what they got to say. So, um, so it says here, uh, again, it's a has a slip deucer. Requ requires no mounting or drilling. I really don't know what that's about, but it's interesting. So it says you do not have to have a downrigger to be able to use this system either, the uh, X2 system. So this might be more versatile for boats out there, anglers out there that aren't running downriggers. You still want that availability to know what your speed and the temperature is down at your probe. And it looks like that that's what it's going to be able to give you. And I apologize for just being quiet here for a sec, but I want to make sure that I'm reading this correctly. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to give you the, the speed, speed of the probe, and the temperature of the probe. But no downriggers necessary. A little bit more, uh, like I said, for the uh, maybe the all-around species uh, angler out there. Could be a good, a good thing as well. Alright, cost. X4D. This unit right here. 900 bucks. And guys, gals, I know that is not cheap. I completely understand that. And that... For all the pros that I've talked about, that is the biggest con. It's the cost. But if you think about it, 900 bucks. what are you spending on a really good fish finder? What are you spending on a really good downrigger? A couple really good rods, a couple really good reels. I mean, it really still fits into that same um, cat. At least that's what I tell myself when I buy these things. But it really, it still fits into that same genre, uh, what you're spending on most everything else. And if it's going to improve your fishing game that much, I, I completely think, my personal opinion, it's worth the money. So 900 bucks for the X4D system. Now the X4 system, that's the one without the depth available, on the Fishhawks website is 750 bucks. So $150 cheaper. Same unit, same everything, except you're not getting depth and you're not getting Bluetooth. 
Uh, so 150 bucks for the X4 system. And then for the X2 system, and these are prices just like I said, just off the Fishhawk website. You might be able to find them cheaper someplace else, or maybe used on Craigslist, eBay, something like that. But for the X2 system, uh, is $650, so $100 less than the X4. And for all, like I said, all the uh, the, uh, the 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 information on all this stuff, please check out FishhawkElectronics.com, and you'll be able to get a lot more information than what I am just telling you right now. But I really just wanted to give you, like I said, the 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 overview of all. All right, we're gonna wrap it up right there. It's getting late. I need to get to bed eventually here. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact me, Chris at gmail.com. That is my that is my Gmail. That is my email. Uh, if you're looking for a charter, I'm always happy to uh, take people out. We're booking trips still this season. Darkbluecharters.com is that. And for everybody that has uh, supported us on Patreon, we're well over halfway there. Uh, halfway as far as the amount of people goes to giving away that free charter trip that's going to come up pretty quick and uh i'm excited to give that away to uh to one lucky uh patreon subscriber or patron uh who's going to win that trip and be able to take uh, himself and five of his buddies family whoever out or whoever he wants to take out with him so if you want to check out those things i'll put links down below to our patreon and to our charter service and that's it fishhawk Thanks for putting out a pretty cool uh, website, or I'm not website. Thanks for putting out a pretty cool YouTube channel. If you're looking for somebody that you want to interview over here on Lake Michigan, hey, I'm available, and I know plenty of other people out there that would be uh, willing to do that as well. All right, guys, gals, thanks for watching. Take care. Be safe. We will see you Sunday, seven o'clock, for our live fishing report.